Hello, multi monocolloidal misfits, and thank you to Arthur M131 for that malt mention. I'm Ralphie in the Bothy. It's the Whiskey Bothy. It's where I present my whiskey reviews to the world and beyond, out into the wider universes and dimensions that surround our very, very limited reality which is, by the way, enhanced by good quality spirits and occasionally having a bit of a laugh. So I hope you find this quite entertaining. This is Ralphie Review 1032 Extras and I have called it Ralphie Makes a Cocktail. Who would ever have thought that the most commodious, ranty whiskey reviewer would finally get round to presenting a whiskey cocktail to the wider world. Now bear in mind, I have worked in a bar. I have prepared cocktails in the past. They have been a little bit eccentric. I like to get beyond the usual cliches of the whiskey and soda and the whiskey and ginger beer. And my goodness, I've always done my level best never to sell a whiskey and Coke. So here's the kind of options that many people consider. Here we are, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar for your cocktail. There we go. Let's get my cocktail glass. It doesn't have to be much. Don't have to be making too much. It'll be pretty. It'll soon be gone anyway. Let's get this out of the way. Create a bit of space. Uh, it's zero sugar. Uh, so apparently no calories. Um, however, bear in mind there is uh, cancer is associated with artificial sweeteners like sucralose and aspartame and um, it may be a sparkling beverage but they certainly don't sparkle like they used to let me assure you of that here we go here's another option ginger beer whiskey and ginger actually you'll get get more flavor out of ginger ale but see a uh, a whiskey and ginger beer, you get far more gingeriness. It kind of works quite well with these heavily peated or heavily sherried whiskies, but they tend to be single malts. Here's one that's a little bit more inventive, Sour Cherry Aid. At least or despite being sweetened, it isn't as super sickly sweet as this rubbish here. See the plastic bottle? Let me tell you about plastic bottles. I try to use as few plastic bottles as possible because plastic is now the most universal contaminant of living tissue of every living creature on the planet. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody is talking about the devastation to the to human to humanity of the absorption absorption through the water even through the air now, of microplastic particles, which can be found in human bone, in our brains, in our eyeballs. Plastics are poisoning the planet. See, your global warming is nothing compared to the global contamination by plastics. And um, so I prefer to, but even if you buy a tin, this is an aluminium tin, it's lined with plastic. All tins are lined with plastics. Plastics give off oestrogen. Oestrogen um, reduces testosterone in men and increases oestrogen in women, right? So nobody wins. Everybody loses, by the way. Ideally, and I bought this, glass bottles. It'll cost you more, but you recycle the glass. It's better for the planet. It's better for you. It is more responsible. So please, do me a favour, don't buy this. And as for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, these it's Monster, um, and any of these big brands, the whole part of their success is not to have flavour because people then fill in the flavour with their imagination based on the ubiquitousness of the brand recognition, whether it be Starbucks coffee or this... this... Crap, in my opinion, that passes for a soft drink. Until you've had your Coca-Cola out of a traditional glass bottle, the proper shaped bottle, you're not even remotely getting anywhere near the original authentic flavour of Coca-Cola. Uh, you know, you, you need to find try and source an authentic Coca-Cola. It's less sweet 
unless superloaded with stuff that causes cancer, in my opinion. So let's get all these. I'm not going to, I am not going to waste, not even Johnny Walker Red Label, with this garbage. And this in particular, this not so much so, reduced sugar, a uh, smaller portion, more sensible, at least with the ginger beer, you're getting some ginger in it. And here, premium Indian tonic water that actually contains quinine. How refreshing is that? A product, this is fever tree, that's actually got authentic ingredients in it and it's not fully synthesised. The Coca-Cola, they don't even get the caffeine from tea leaves anymore. They get the caffeine synthesised from oil. Right. So it's fully synthetic. As you can see, I don't have p conventional views and things, but I'm here to make your cocktail. So let's bloody well get on with it. I've got a slice of, slice of lemon. We'll leave that to later. Um, here, here is my recommended ingredient. Have a look at that. I know it looks like pish, but it's not. It's fine quality green tea, fresh brewed and cooled to just below room temperature. Absolutely perfect. Then we've got our ice. Then we've got our little bit of decoration. And all you need is chopsticks. Here we go. Ralphie's, um, Ralphie's cocktail. Don't add sugar. Please do not add sugar. Your life is full. The more sweetness in your life, the more you're killing yourself, the more you're feeding cancer. Cut down the sugar for F's sake. Help yourself live. Help improve the quality of your life and decontaminate yourself from the presence of refined sugar. It is poisonous. I've prepared Chinese green tea. I bought it on eBay. Here it is. Here's the packet. Longqing Imperial Dragon Well Longjing Premium Chinese Green Tea. I've made a few pots of tea with this and I can tell you right now, this is good stuff. Lovely, soft, very light but intense, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of savoury umami notes. I love that in a tea. I also, you'll find it in matcha tea, the wonderfully bitter Japanese matcha tea, but that'll make for a cloudy tea. This is a clear tea with a few tea leaves at the bottom. So what am I going to do? Um, yeah, I'm going to pour in. The, the baristas always say, oh no, you've got to put the spirit in first. Bollocks. Do it your way. What what the baristas and bar professionals, the, the theat it's all theatrics, it really doesn't matter. And just give a reasonable pour. Not too much, not too little. Bang in a couple of ice cubes. There's three there. Pick up your chopsticks. Put in your slice of lemon. And don't leave the lemon floating, floating there. Use the chopsticks to push the lemon in. Break. The lemon's not there for appearance. The lemon is there to provide flavour range. It brings sour to this. The tea is not sour and citrus. The lemon brings that. And then just leave the chopsticks in. So the person you've made the cocktail for, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a work of art? My goodness. Made by Ralphie. Phenomenal. Do you want the recipe? Well, I've just done it. It's the simpler it is, the better. Don't bother use if you're going to use a straw, by the way, please do not use a plastic straw. Use a cardboard straw. Use a biodegradable straw. The chopsticks can be used if you want to take the lemon out when you're ready before you sip the drink. But I'll put it back in, because I really don't mind. So what does it taste like? <laughs> On the nose, smells of lemon. Funny that. Um, the ice is already cooling the temperature and suppressing the delivery of the flavours. But when you sip it, it 
tannic, green leaf tannic. I mean, this would work so well. Green tea in a peated whiskey would work so, so well. Particularly Killila. Or any, any whiskey. The green tea, it needs to have loads of flavour. Really put the flavour into that green tea. And it's clean in the palate. No sweetness. The whiskey is very much restrained. But it's complementing the green tea. Um, and... Literally, you can drink this and you are keeping hydrated. You can have more of it because you're not overdoing the amount of whiskey you're putting in this. And the thing is, the, the, the tea is very good because of the clarity of delivery of flavour. It is not masking and suppressing the content of the alcohol. It's helping to deliver it, what's there. So I've got a sip-sized glass of, of, Johnny, of Johnny Walker Red Label in there. And um, I, I'm just getting a, a decent range of herbaceous, slightly vegetal, and with a drop of the whiskey in the background, of course. The sweetness is gone. And I also notice that if you give it a while, particularly if you've cut the rind of the lemon, and please when you put lemon into a cocktail, actually rough the rind up to help release the lemon oils. Because every time you see a slice of lemon ruthlessly thrown into a, a long drink, it's usually waxed lemons, which means you get a little bit of citrus, and that's the end of it. You don't get the most exciting part of the lemon, which is the rind, the aromatic. Uh, so... There you have it. I don't. I really don't think there's anything more I want to add. Mission accomplished. Well, that made a change for our offer review, didn't it? And <laughs> any tea can be used. People have no idea because they see little boxes of tea bags and tea pigs in the shop, and they're generally overpriced. And they're generally bland because they're poor quality ingredients. You need to buy the raw stuff online or from tea merchants. You look at the variety of tea out there. Lapsang Souchong, Gunpowder Tea, Orange Pico, Scented Orange Pico, um, Earl Grey, Darjeeling, the incredible a variety of Japanese tea, of Chinese tea, of Indian tea. Tea is far more wide-ranging in flavour than people ever begin to admit. And the important thing is the refreshing nature of it. It doesn't need the sugar. The sugar simply suppresses it. So see when you see that Lipton's iced tea with sugar in it, don't buy that garbage. By the unsweetened. That's where the refreshment is. There's there's chlorophyll in green tea. There is stuff that lowers your blood pressure in green tea. Green tea, by and large, is therapeutic and medicinal. So if we're going to put whiskey with anything, no matter what the whiskey is, let's respect the whiskey and respect ourselves and suss out the decent quality companion that's worth putting in with whiskey. So see your can of Coca-Cola, your bottle of plastic bottle of Coca-Cola. I'm sorry. Seriously, stick it up your arse. Don't even put that anywhere near a whiskey. You're just trashing the whiskey, wasting your time. Buy a cheap vodka if you want to sully and spoil the, the, the alcohol. You know, time and effort and wooden casts has gone made into making that whiskey. And if you want to absolutely demolish it with Coca-Cola, well, shame on you. You're a Philistine and you're an imposter. And frankly, you really need to get a life. Cheers. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, see you later, pa pals and malt mates, whiskey curious people, and those who have come here just to be offended. Bless you all. <laughs>